Hey guys, super quick tutorial today. So I'm going to be showing you how I did these iridescent textures in Redshift. Let's jump straight into this. So I already have a scene set up with a sphere and a HDR so we get some reflections. I'm going to grab a Redshift material, drag this material onto my sphere, and turn my render on. So I'm going to come into our nodes and I'm going to create two nodes. I'm going to create an AO node, so ambient inclusion node, and a color corrects node. And I'm going to put the output on our AO into my input on the color correct, and then put our color correct just to start off with into our diffuse color on our material. Now, this has changed the color of it, but this is not quite what we want. So, coming back into our AO, I'm going to turn our spread to zero, our fall off to zero, turn reflective on, and under output mode, change this from inclusion to object space. And already we have an iridescent texture. Now the reason this is pumped into our color correct node is we can come in here and start to change how this iridescent texture looks. So turn our saturation down, maybe our contrast up, make it a bit darker, and then the hue shift can move the colors around completely. Awesome. Lastly, we can put this into different parts of our material to get different effects. So say I take it out on my defuse and I put it into my reflection color instead and then come in and turn my material to a black color. You can see the iridescent texture now is appearing on our reflection instead of the base color. And you can pump this into places like your subsurface scattering to get iridescent textures slightly on the surface and things like that. Even put it into your emission color and you get a really bright iridescent texture. Hope that was helpful. Really quick tutorial. Thank you for watching.